Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. Today we're doing the first full what I eat in a week in my new apartment. Because it's the first week in my new apartment, like my eating isn't as great as usual. Not saying that it's usually great, I'm just saying it's usually great. Er, I just haven't gotten back into like the meal prep groove yet, but I'm sure I'll get there in a couple weeks. I just have to start grocery shopping and make time for cooking, you know, all that stuff. My usual disclaimer is I'm not a dietitian, I'm just a person trying to feed herself on a budget, a smaller budget now that I have my own apartment and it is quite expensive. I went out to eat twice this week, uh, both times for, for work, for YouTube, uh, but they were both awesome places. The first one was Greedy Vegan, which was good, and the second one was Beyond Sushi, which never disappoints. One more piece of housekeeping, I always take my vitamins, I take D3 and B12, I also occasionally take an iron supplement, and I think that's everything for today. I hope you really enjoy the video, I hope you get some meal ideas. If I have recipes for anything you see in the video, the recipe will be on my blog, which is in the description box down below. Without further ado, here's everything I ate in a week. Hey guys, good morning. I'm currently at my parents' house for a minute. Uh, I'm about to go shoot a video, but before I shoot, I got really hungry, so I'm having this bowl of uh, lychee that I found in the fridge and some cherries. So just a little snack because I know I'm about to eat a bunch of food. At Greedy Vegan, I got these cauliflower wings. I got a soul bowl with chicken, some mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, and kale, and I got this oyster po' boy. My favorite for sure was the mac and cheese and the po' boy, but if you want to see all the details, I'll leave the whole review down below. Then when I went home, I had a frozen fruit mango ice pop and some watermelon. I am fully aware that my eating today has been absolute shit. I'm eating chips. <laughs> Thank you. So part of me wonders if it's even moral to post this sandwich and the other part of me realizes that it's just a regular sandwich in an odd shape. So my next meal today is a um, hot dog bun with hummus and cucumber in it. Now before you judge me, think about if the bun was flat and the cucumber was sliced, it would be normal. So it's not that big of a deal, right? It's not a sandwich. <laughs> It's good. Final meal of the day. We have a cold cut sandwich with a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard, tofurkey deli slices, and some cucumber. Today was not an ideal day of eating. I'm gonna start over again tomorrow. Good morning. Guess who's having a normalish breakfast? Here is a bagel. So I totally made cream cheese yesterday, but then I mistake the half a teaspoon for a teaspoon, meaning I added double the amount of salt to the cream cheese recipe that I was making and then it turned out too salty. I had to throw it out. Very heartbroken. I was very much looking forward to a bagel and cream cheese, but I took the bagel I was going to use and I added some um, avocado and some cucumber on top. So this is going to be my breakfast. Mmm. Almost as good. So I'm actually about to shoot a video, but I want a snack. I grabbed this granola and I'm gonna have it with some almond milk. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so I finally have a proper meal to eat and it looks so freaking good. This is some mushrooms and lentils cooked with uh, curry, curry spices and some coconut milk. This is some regular white rice and again, these are some snow peas that I've been really loving lately, so I cooked them up with a little bit of vegan butter, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Boom, and this is my lunch. So yesterday when I ate a cucumber in a hot dog bun with hummus, I low-key liked it. So we had one more hot dog bun left and one more cucumber left. So I'm having a snack while I'm cooking like a farro chickpea salad type thing. Um, and it's a hot dog bun with cucumber and hummus. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm eating again. It's healthy. Uh, over here we have a, oh, let's ooh, make it concentrate on the salad. Over here we have a farro and chickpea salad. And the chickpea has like spices on it, like garlic and cumin and all that stuff. And then everything else 
on the salad is tomatoes, parsley, a little bit of capers, a little bit of green onions, and then the dressing on top is a tahini dressing. Very similar to the one I usually make that's on my blog, but I added to it a little extra garlic powder, no Dijon mustard, and some cumin. Ooh, I'm pretty good. And parsley. I don't know if I should have parsley. It's yummy. We're on our windowsill. <laughs> We're having a little uh, low-key date afternoon, so we have a little bit of wine and we're just chilling. Then later on at night, I had some fresh cut pineapple. Hey guys, good morning. I'm having breakfast. It's not that interesting. It's just that chickpea farro salad that I made yesterday, and I pre-drizzled it with tahini, and I'm eating it. It's like almost 11 o'clock. Hey guys, I am hungry and I am having two snacks. The first is this Mama Chia squeezy pouch with mango and coconut flavor. It's kind of like a little smoothie with chia seeds in it. And the other snack I'm having is this peach. Or is it the same snack? Is it two sides of the same snack or two separate snacks? That's a decent peach. I just got home and I'm having a snack meal, kind of. Um, it's just bagel sliced up with some smashed avocado, salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and a tomato on top. Roberto is the absolute best because look what he got me. Oh, jackfruit. So, of course I'm eating them. It's my favorite fruit. Mmm. Hey guys, I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> um, it's just like wheat bread with tomatoes and tofurkey slices and some mustard. And I'm eating these marinara flavored chip things. What are they called, babe? What brand is this? Pasta snacks. It's so good. Very crunchy. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello and welcome to breakfast. It's literally the same as the other uh, breakfasts, well at least yesterday's breakfast, except for I ran out of tahini sauce, so um, for my healthy fat, I have some avocado that I chopped up and it's in here somewhere. I just buried it so it wouldn't get brown. There we go. It's like half an avocado that I chopped up and I'm gonna just mix it in and have it for breakfast. I'm at my parents' house, hi, and I'm eating something. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna show it to you really quick. It is something basic that I like to do. It's just some um, yogurt with frozen fruit. Today it's cherries, and on the bottom there is some oatmeal. I'm gonna scarf this down, and I'm going grocery shopping. Later on, I had a tofu scramble wrap with ketchup and mustard. Pretty basic, uh, but it was a spinach wrap. I'm back home and I made myself something quick to eat because I was really hungry. This is a piece of bread with hummus and tomatoes and a Dr. Prager's patty. And these are those marinara flavored pasta chip type things. Bon appetit. Hey guys, so I totally forgot to record my breakfast today, but I had a just egg scramble sandwich with some ketchup and now it's later in the day and I'm eating again. It is some pasta salad. This is just some chickpea pasta with broccoli carrots and the dressing is like the wishbone robusto Italian dressing. Super easy to make, but pretty yummy. And the chickpea pasta kind of makes up for the fact that a regular pasta salad doesn't usually have that much protein. Hello, I'm eating some frozen blueberries. Um, but Roberto and I are headed to Beyond Sushi for dinner, so super excited. We haven't had Beyond Sushi in ages, and we haven't been out to eat in a restaurant in quite a while. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Are you excited? Yep. Yep. <laughs> At Beyond Sushi, I just kind of sampled a bunch of things. I had a sushi roll, some of these dumplings, some really awesome kebabs. I think they're made out of impossible meat. They were so freaking good. But my favorite thing that we had for sure were the tacos. They were oyster mushroom tacos. Later on at night when we went home, I got hungry, so I had oatmeal, frozen blueberries, and some yogurt. Good morning. Today was hectic all morning. I'm just getting to work and I'm just getting to eat. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast. So as the main event, we have that pasta salad from yesterday. Same, same, just chickpea pasta, carrots, broccoli, Italian dressing. 
And then I guess kind of like dessert, we have woo, some raspberries because my local grocery store was having a sale. It was a double pack of raspberries for a dollar. So I bought three double packs. Could not pass it up. Here is my lunch. I just got back home and on the side we have steamed broccoli with salt and pepper. This is a Dave's Killer Bread bun with a bean burger that Roberto and I made yesterday. Don't ask me for the recipe. It's honestly just like mashed beans with some breadcrumbs, caramelized onions, and then spices, whatever spices we thought would taste good. And we just pan fried them. And then we have some tomatoes, some ketchup, and some mustard. So this is going to be my lunch. So I got hungry, it's been a few hours since I last ate, and I didn't really feel like cooking anything, so let me show you my big snack. This is a favorite snack of mine. It is oatmeal, whichever frozen fruit I have, which is blueberries now, and some yogurt. And I use soy yogurt for the extra protein, and I don't have to use a sweetener in the oatmeal because the berries and the yogurt are very sweet. So I'm still a little bit hungry, um, and I'm eating one of these. Also, I just found out that I forgot my charger at work and I don't go to work for another four days. And this is my camera charger, mind you. So I'm very worried about this what I eat in a week and my ability to shoot any videos this weekend. Final meal of the day, I have a tofu scramble burrito with ketchup and mustard for me. And then Roberto has a tofu scramble burrito as well, except he has mayo. And then he has all this peanut butter and agave on bread because he needs a lot more food than I do. So. Cheers. Also gonna eat these like asparagus snacks just because they expire on the 16th and I just wanna get them eaten already. Good morning, I'm, oh, this is such a close up. Whatever, I don't feel like changing it. Good morning, Roberto and I went to Home Depot this morning and we bought a new air conditioner because we needed one. It is raining super hard outside. Um, but let me show you the breakfast that I just made us. We have some just egg scramble on toast with ketchup and then on the side, I have those snow peas that I've been liking so much and I just cooked them up with a tiny bit of butter, some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Still zoomed in. Ah, hey y'all, it's time to eat again. And I'm eating a fat bean burger like yesterday. Here it is. I never really made a bean burger in my life before yesterday. I had made a giant batch of black beans and then I was like, babe, what, 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 what should we do with them? And he's like, black bean burgers. And I looked up some recipes and I didn't have the ingredients for the recipes that I found. So I just mixed the mashed beans with some onions and breadcrumbs and spices and a little bit of liquid smoke. And it turned out okay. Like not the best bean burger I've ever had, but considering I just threw things together, I'm pretty happy with it. And it was like super cheap to make. So I think one of my new go to meal preppy things is going to be bean burgers. I may have made it a little too big. So the day has gotten kind of shitty, not going to lie. Uh, I think the rain, like plus not having a clear schedule, made the day like hella lazy. So I napped a lot and my last meal that I did not record was Ritz crackers and hummus and a piece of chocolate. <laughs> So, you know, epitome of health and all that. Um, just wanted to get on here and let you know that I ate that. Yum, yum. Time for some pasta salad. This needs no introduction. I've been eating it a lot this week, but this is the last bit of it, so yay. Dear everyone on YouTube, do you ever just decide that a day is a throwaway day? Like, you try to be productive all day and it's just not happening, and you're just like, forget everything. Forget everything and i'm just gonna chill the rest of the day and order pizza and drink wine out of a starbucks cup with ice well i could not relate that's never happened to me <laughs> um anyway the pizza's coming soon and i'll show you how it looks like when it gets here pizza me pizza me pizza me pizza. <laughs> yes Tell me right now this wasn't a good decision. Tell me right now this wasn't a fantastically beautiful decision. This is the the V for Vegan from Two Boots. It's one of my favorite vegan pies to get. See, this piece is the biggest, but I'm not gonna be the fat ass who grabs it. I'll grab this piece, which is still kind of big, but 
Oh, that's look at this man. He grabbed the fat slice. Show them the fat slice. Show it to them. Show it to them. He grabbed the fat slice. It was his first slice too. He didn't even pretend that he wasn't going to eat it. He just went straight for it as his first piece. Listen. Dude, yes. This is a judgment free zone. Mm. This is YouTube. All right, that is it for the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Like if you want to like. Hope you were entertained. Got some meal ideas. You know, were you able to chill with me? I don't have an apartment tour on my channel yet, but there's one on Roberto's channel if you want to see that. I plan on doing an updated apartment tour when, I don't know, there's more stuff in the apartment. When I at least have this room furnished because it's so empty. That is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. If you want to support the channel by becoming a patron, the link is down below as well. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.